In this video, I'll be explaining the way the business can be listed and in particular by explaining the direct listing method. So direct listing in some textbooks is also known as by introduction method. So what that actually means is if your company wants to obtain a listing status but at the same time you don't want to lock up your shares for a period, period of three years for example because in most countries if you're the founder of the company, you're the CEO of the company, you're holding quite a lot of shares in your hand and your company for example uh, go through an IPO or initial public offering in order to trade your shares on the main stock exchange it may take you so for example at least one year or up to three or five years and after a company has obtained a listing status the shares that you hold on hand cannot be sold immediately you will have to lock those shares up perhaps for another two to three years depending on which jurisdictions that you are in and that's very time consuming isn't it and what businesses could do is to think about to obtain a listing status but at the same time no locking up your shares for a period of three years for those funders they can consider the direct listing method so direct listing method is not quite common but you can obtain a direct listing status for example in London Stock Exchange or in the New York Stock Exchange in the United States of America and according to the requirements in the United uh, according to the requirements in the New York Stock Exchange in the USA there should be your business should be with more than 40,000 shareholders at the same time that the time that you obtain a listing status that the market capitalization which means the market value of your firm should be more than a hundred million dollars if this is not the case if there are not enough shareholders you cannot obtain listing status by using this method and a very well-known company a famous company uh, providing music streaming service is called Spotify uses this method to obtain a listing status and the common characteristic of such companies is to have an easy to understand business model because your business model is easy to be understood by many customers and they may become your shareholders and you get them to become your shareholders and as long as the number reaches for example more than 40,000 and with your market capitalization for example greater than hundred million dollars and you can obtain a listing status in those stock exchanges but I must add and caveat in this video the requirements in different stock exchanges may change from time to time and in my article I provided you with the uh, requirements taken from the New York Stock Exchange in 2020 uh, about the detailed requirements of uh, how you can obtain a direct listing status of course if you obtain a listing status either by initial public offering or by introduction method either method when determining your share price really requires uh, human judgment but unlike what we've seen in the initial public offering or IPO method where the share price would be determined when you provide a role show which means providing a PPT PowerPoint presentation about your company's future uh, allowing the investors to determine the share price of your firm uh, the by introduction method does not require any roadshow at all you simply apply uh, for the direct listing status uh, via the stock exchange by fulfilling the requirements and job done so that will be quite easy indeed and less time consuming to businesses so that's the end of this video and if you're interested in studying ACCA financial management 
or AFM Advanced Financial Management paper with me, please visit my website today. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. APC, accounting for your future.